think there are many reasons why I like publishing with Biomed Central, and they're all good, positive reasons. I think the first one I like is that I like openness in scientific publishing. And I actually like it when referees sign their names on their reports. I like to know who's saying these things, and I find that when they do that, they're actually honest and decent and truthful, whereas I've had in traditional anonymous refereeing, I've had terrible reports from people who've hidden behind anonymity and said things which are outrageously bad. And I also like the fact that on your website you actually put those reports there so anybody can read them and see what decisions were made, what changes were made and that sort of thing. So I like the openness of the refereeing process very much. I also like the fact, and I think it's terribly important, that anybody can read these articles. And I do work which is partly medical, and we've been the first paper we published with um, Biomed Central was a paper on um, patients with primary ciliary dyskinesia. It's a rare disease of the lungs. And what we realised was we'd done this study and our patients wanted to be able to read it and other patients wanted to be able to read it. And of course with open access, anybody around the world can click on it and read it. And I've had emails from people in Brazil and America and India who've got the condition and they said, I read your research on Biomed Central. And that seems to be terribly important. It, research in patients, particularly where the patients have helped, shouldn't be locked away from the patients themselves. Apart from that, I think the, it's a very fast um, process. I had my, my sixth paper published just yesterday on um, the medical education, Biomed Central Medical Education, and I had an email at about four o'clock saying, could I just confirm that the, the, the figures were fine? I click, click, clicked on them, and an email came back said, your paper is now published. And indeed, when I looked, it was, and I looked again this morning, and 45 people had already looked at my paper. And that's another thing I like, that the I can see the statistics of who's, who's, how many people are reading the paper, how quickly it's being read. And that's all terribly nice, and I, it's something I don't get with any other journal. Of the six papers I've published, two of them have had press releases. Of those two, one of them had a press release and there was almost no response at all, except in my own college, where people like to see these things. And our press office picked it up and was aware of it, and that's very nice nowadays. But the other one... It was published in August, which admittedly is the silly season as far as the, the media are concerned. But I must have spent 24 hours going around the television studios and the radio studios of London, fending off newspaper um, and journalists and quest, journalist questions. And there was lots and lots of press interest. It got a vast amount. And, I, and that paper now, um, I think when I looked at the statistics a while ago, it was... Somewhere just under 21,000 people had read the paper. I don't know how many people read paper, my papers in The Lancet or the British Medical Journal or other journals like that. I really have no idea. Whereas here, I know precisely 21,000 people. And that's, that's a good number. I was very, very impressed. And so, you know, I think you do know that when it's getting out there and when it's having an impact. Whereas, you know, you open your copy of The, the Lancet and you see your paper there... And then you think, I wonder if somebody's going to email me. I wonder if anybody's reading this. And if you're lucky, somebody emails you that I liked it. But otherwise, you have no idea. One of the other things I like so much about the Biomed Central system is, of course, it's entirely electronic. And what that means is that there's no limit to the size of the papers you can publish. I write stuff for conventional print journals. I write a long paper. And the editor says, we like it, but we want it to be a quarter of its current length. So I leave stuff out. And then I get criticised because I haven't put that stuff in. With Biomed Central, in effect, your papers can be infinitely long. Now, of course, you don't make them that, but you can put in supplementary material, you can add in additional analyses and so on, and there's no limit to how long the paper can be. So you can actually give the reader what they want. You have the paper, which is relatively short, and there's other additional stuff which anybody can use as they want. And as a scientist, I like that. Open access is just one of those things that should be a given as far as scientific research is concerned. Science works on an open interchange of ideas. And if things aren't available, then ideas aren't being interchanged. I think it was Oscar Wilde who said something like, you know, the only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. Now, scientists want to be talked about. They want their ideas to be talked about by other scientists, other people, and open access promotes that. 
why should you do something really interesting and hide it away so nobody can see it? Doesn't seem any point in it. So I'm, I think open access is just the way science should be.